So, power creep, right? Never heard of it. Not in Warframe anyway, okay? Sure, Potato. Also, yes, my Revenant does look like Papa Smurf, so bow down because Papa got some work to do. Welcome on in, how you all do? Now, first off, I need to disclose that this video is sponsored by Discord again in order to remind you about all of the perks that you get simply by being a Discord Nitro user. So far, the perks for Warframe have been bundles, complete with deluxe skins, exclusive color palettes, weapon skins, resource boosters, affinity boosters, and so on. And there's going to be more added at a future date. Now, it is their premium service and costs $9.99 and with it you can also get access to over a hundred games and try them out and download them now for the warframe stuff you don't need to have warframe installed on discord you simply need to have warframe turned on and discord turned on and you get prompted to redeem the perk so that's basically it now there is a link at the top of this video's description click it and it will get things started for you now the topic of this video our fallen kings the victims of power creep in warframe warframe has had a lot and i mean a lot of weapons that at one point or another were the best in the game off the top of my head i can already think of a few the acrid the bolto prime flux rifle cyanide simulor tonkor cyanide gamma core basically they used to be our go-to weapons the damage kings but power creep or nerfs quickly buried them and replaced them with new shinier models so in the same vein as some of my previous videos like the ones on the dual ikers or older ones i made on the acrid i thought you know what it would be fun to break out some of these so-called fallen kings and see how effective they still are or i guess clear up the misconception that these weapons now suck for whatever reason because they can still do a lot of work they can still kill pretty much anything that you put in front of them and it also allows us to have i guess more variety in game and not be tied down to just the meta now next up i wanted to take a look at the soma prime i know i know i know soma prime people already typing about how overrated this weapon is but it is still an insanely good weapon that just doesn't see the same kind of use that it once did maybe that's because it is a vaulted weapon but two years ago this was hands down the best primary weapon in the game and it was made even more powerful when Rivens first got added into Warframe because the Soma Prime had a really good Riven disposition. I mean you could get constant red crits with the Soma Prime back then if you were lucky enough with the God Roll Riven for a Soma Prime but that quickly got changed and now its disposition is only a two so Rivens aren't anywhere near as effective as they once were on this weapon or on similar weapons like say the Prisma Gorgon. So I broke out my Soma Prime the crit based slash damage spreading mastery rank 7 assault rifle that's currently in like I said the Prime Vault the Soma Prime has one of the highest base crit chances of all of our primary weapons. So modding it for all out crit and a mix of elemental damage mods while also throwing in some of the newer mods like Hunter Munitions, it makes the Soma Prime a bit of a powerhouse. Now, it feels like the Hunter Munitions mod is a must have for the Soma Prime or mods like Argon Scope, Bladed Rounds or even Vigilante Armaments, whichever ones of those three that you wish to fit in. Now, this is my current soma prime build if you want to go for dual stat mods or full elemental mods that is entirely up to you your game your weapon your build knock yourself out but one little bit of helpful information is that if you're running with a crit weapon in warframe then you should be putting two vigilante set mods on your sentinel this will increase your weapons crit potential so yellow crits have a chance to become orange orange crits have a chance to become red if you're bringing any critical weapon to a mission and you like using sentinels then i would definitely advise stick two of those on your sentinel now i brought papa revenant with me to a mod survival to see how quickly the damage of the soma prime would start to fall off it was a solo run so it meant enemies still had a lot of armor but if this run had of been in a squad with say four crows of projections then of course the weapon wouldn't have started to fall off when it did. It would have continued to kill anything that stood in front of it. Now, I also chose to run with Primed Shred just for this mission because I wanted that little bit of punch through because I thought there would be a lot of enemies. But in hindsight, that was probably or definitely a bad idea. I should have went for something else. I actually hadn't got Argon Scope on for this mission. And in retrospect, I should have taken off 
prime shred and put argon scope on instead because it would have killed things a hell of a lot faster but even without argon scope on and having prime shred on there instead 70 minutes into the mission on a mot survival and it was still killing absolutely everything but up to level 150 pretty much was when it started to taper off or against the Eximus units anyway, which is still incredible. The Soma Prime is still very much a top weapon in Warframe. Yes, the Prisma Gorgon is an absolute beast as well. So if you prefer it, then good for you. But the Soma Prime is another option. And if you don't have the Soma Prime and you're able to get your hands on the parts for it by buying them or whenever it gets unvaulted again, then it is 100% worth it. But of course, this is just my opinion. If you don't like the weapon then don't feckin use it use something else the the sheave or something like that share your thoughts below let me know what you think of the soma prime whether you still run with it from time to time or whether it is still your go-to weapon let me know what other fallen kings you would like to see me trying out in this kind of i guess format for a video just to see how good that weapon still is do me a huge favor hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't subscribe for more warframe and as always thanks very much for watching